Okay, next part of the video for um, upcycling a shirt that doesn't fit me. I created these already, cut them out and everything. So three sides of them. It stretches one way and I made sure that's the way I wanna have on the shoulders. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, um, Somehow this got a stain on it, but that's okay because I'm gonna wash it. Um, oh, and I used, oh, now I can't find it. I used um, <laughs> this, <laughs> this can of starch that I bought like over 10 years ago. I haven't heard of it going bad, so I think it's fine. Like spray starch. All right, so unfortunately, this doesn't appear long enough. And so I figured, you know what? I got plenty of this. So I sewed a longer piece, substantially longer piece. It looks like this fabric frays. I don't know if that's something that's inevitable on any side or it just does that on one side. So I'm gonna plan to um, sew it on all four sides, kind of like I did here, except it's gonna be long enough and, and apparently much wider too. Or, Maybe this, I think this is how white it was. Anyhow, um, so this part, my plan, I'm gonna do that with these, right? But if I had cut it correctly, I'm gonna put this with the, the so yeah, this is a zigzag stitch so it can still stretch. I think, yeah, I did all zigzag stitches, but like a thin one, it's, it's hard to see on camera, I'm sure. But, uh, so what I would have done, if it was correct, okay, so I would have put right sides together, you know, and on one side with this already sewed part here, you know, pin it and then do the same thing on the other side. And then this is supposed to be longer than the sleeve, but it wasn't. And then I would hem this, you know, to, um, to be flush, I don't know if that's the right word, with the rest of the, the sleeve, at the end of the sleeve. Will it turn out cool? I don't know, let's find out. I'm gonna, just gonna double check that it, yep, it's too small. I mean, I did before, but I'm gonna check again. As they say, measure twice, cut once, but yeah. <laughs> Edit before posting too, but we all know I don't do that either. All right, hopefully I'll stitch several videos together so this will all just be in one. All right, so now I made the bigger pieces. I'll show a comparison with the smaller one, unless I lost them. Nope, here they are. So yeah, here's the smaller one that was too short. Yet when I go like that, <laughs> it doesn't at all look too short. Oh, I'm so confused right now. Hmm. Okay, well, before it was it was too small somehow. I think they're too small than they're too small for one of the sides. Ugh. Anyway, I'm just gonna trust my measurements from before. I'm gonna sew, sew this. So I've pinned, I've ironed a lot. So despite that it is rolling, I guess I could starch that. The starch also makes it stick. So that's one downside not in a way that I want. So I need to make sure that my seam allowance is enough to cover up this little thing. And yeah, and then I'm gonna sew it to the other side. Okay, so now I've, I seam dripped it and I decided, so I don't make the same mistake again, um, I decided to just go ahead and pin on the other one. I'm not sure if that's typically the better option or not. I tried to keep the inches the same. We'll see how it goes. Now I'm gonna sew 
the other piece onto the front of the shirt. Okay, now I'm trying this on. After I've sewed in the correct size, the correct way, I think, you know, correct direction, I mean. Are there better methods I could be doing? I'm sure. But, um, you know, the fit was okay, but the length was not okay. My goal was to lengthen it. I, I think I've done that successfully. Um, I don't love how it is right here, and obviously this fabric is more stiff. I used what I had. I have more fabric in the attic, but uh, I didn't want to have to go get it. And I, I you know, this has a, a one-way stretch. You know, like it, it stretches this way. I don't know if I can show. It doesn't stretch that much this way. Um, I guess the best would be another t-shirt fabric. But yeah, I mean, it's longer. Will I wear it? I think so. Now I just, I need to hem. Oh, something else. It looks like it's going to be like the hems don't exactly line up, but like the front to the back. But I mean, uh, I'll make the best of it. All right, now I'm making a hem. I don't currently have a sewer's ham, which would make this easier. Um, but I'm just going to try to finish the hem here to make it, you know, the same or flush, whatever the word is, with the white part. All right, here's the final product. Um, it kind of flares out a lot. I, I do think it looks... It probably does look handmade, especially because of this. I mean, I ironed. I'm okay with it, but <laughs> um, I think it would have gone better if I had used actual, you know, cotton, like, well, um, a cotton that stretches, like the same material, like t-shirt material versus this. Sorry, I can't show it that much, but it is longer like I wanted. Will I wear it? I, I mean, right now I think so, but time will tell if I wear it. I don't know, it's hard to show all the angles. Yeah, so, so that's that. If I end up posting this, then thank you for watching. Okay, I didn't like how it stuck out, so I'm adding a couple, I guess, pleats. Maybe I should be ironing it, but again, I don't have a hem. I mean, a ironing ham, a tailor's ham, whatever it's called. So I wore it and pinned it. And I did a couple facing forward. So it'll look kind of like a tulip sleeve. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I added pleats. I think it looks better this way. It doesn't like flare out on the sides as much. And, ah, and I, I think that's done enough. Thanks for watching.